Hey there, guys. It's TC Made with TC Gaming. I'm going to give you a real quick ACF video. I'm working with the new Ultimate Sample, and there's some things in here that uh, have changed a little bit that actually make the retargeting easier and using runtime retargeting specifically. If you go into this uh, default project for ACF Ultimate, uh, the new version for 5.4.1 of uh, Unreal Engine, if you go to the default pawn class, you'll see this ACF Ultimate Player. You can drill right to that. And if we go in here and we look at this ACF Ultimate Player, what we've done now is we've added, not we, um, what has happened now is that they've added a skeletal mesh child to an ACF or a U UE5 mannequin um, parent. So what you can actually do is just assign your character at this SK mannequin level, and you'll be able to use runtime retargeting to drive that. The reason that this will happen is because over here in the event graph, they've added this code to set the main mesh and then refresh the equipment at runtime. So I'll show you real quick how we can go and do this. If I'll go into my editor and I'm going to grab a character. Go in here and get any character. Any UE4 character, I should say. Let's go to categories and pull up characters and we'll find Somebody that'll work in here pretty well. Use this assassin. And ECF RPG survival. I'm working in right now. We'll add this guy in. Should I take a second? There. And so now I'll have that uh somewhere in here I'll have the assassin character. And if I go into his mesh folder. Here he is. Pull him up real quick. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that assassin character. Let's highlight him here. I'll go into ACF Ultimate Player. And I'm going to assign that to that mesh. Now, a couple things will happen. If I go hit play, I'll now be that character. And you can see I will play all the animations and everything. My character can run, climb, do all the default behaviors that were you know, from ACF. But you'll notice I don't have any of the equipment up on my body because of the sockets. So a quick way to fix this is we want to go back to that ACF uh, Ultimate Player. And we can go and get the, actually the SK Manny will be the easiest one because of the um, way the construction is for the bones. So we'll go in here and we'll just say we want SK underscore Manny. And he's probably going to be down here under the engine content. There's your Ascent Combat Framework Mannequin Character Mesh. We'll open this one up. We'll go and get his skeleton. And you have all these sockets that need to be on your character. Quickest way to do this is just come over here to this little drop down and just say hide bones and show all sockets. We can see all those there. And you can just literally click the first one, scroll all the way down to the bottom, shift click and grab the last one. We're going to right click and just say copy selected sockets. And since this is a UE4 mannequin skeleton and we only have three spine bones, we can go to this mesh we just brought in, go and find this skeleton for that assassin. We go over here, right click on this root, and just say paste sockets. You do not want to say paste sockets to selected bone, because if you do, it'll paste the sockets to the selected bone and they'll all be in the wrong spot. If you just say paste sockets, this will automatically derive that these were at spine 2, these were at spine 3, so on and so forth. And you'll now have all your sockets assigned to that character. We hit save, got in play, and all of our equipment should be loaded up on our body. When we go to grab uh, swords or whatever, they'll go into the hands the way that they're supposed to. Whoops, that was my camera angle. And so everything there should just work the way that it's supposed to now. And that's a real quick way to do that to the character. Now... What we want to look at is on our enemy characters, if we wanted to add a new enemy, 
you'll see that the enemy is a little bit different. The enemy doesn't have that secondary mesh, and it doesn't have any code up here in the event graph to drive that behavior. Well, I would suggest that if you're going to use a Unreal Engine 4 um, mannequin-style enemy, which most of us still have tons of these left over, um, you'll want to do the same thing. You'll want to go in here to your launcher, find whoever your enemy's going to be. Let's see, we'll just go grab... Uh, I have some skeletons in here. Let's go grab... Uh, this will grab Skeleton Army. That's probably a pretty big file. And we'll add those. Um, there's your survival RPG. Add the project. And so what we're going to do is basically duplicate the process that we had on that Ultimate Player. If you go to Ultimate Player, we're up here at the Parent Begin Play. And the reason you have a Parent Begin Play is because this is a child class. So anytime you have a child class and you want to use the code from above it, like in this case the Parent Class for ACF Ultimate Player, you have to have this player um, yes to the parent as well. So you right-click on this one and say Add Call to Parent Function. And it'll allow that to drift upstream and get all that. So we're going to take this entire code block here. We're going to get Control-C to copy it. We're going to go to our full enemy. We already have an apparent begin play in there. We'll just kill it. I'm going to take these and slide them out of the way. Come over here and hit Paste. And just connect those right there. And then over here under our mesh, we're just going to say Add Skeletal Mesh. And I'm going to name this, um, I'll just name this uh, NPC Mesh. That's so clear. Compile that. And then what we want to do is go into our new package for the skeletons. Here's Skeleton Army. Let's go see what we got in here. Meshes. Uh, we'll do a... Regular footman soldier. Oh, those are just their weapons. Where's the actual skeleton character? Footman. All right, skeleton footman. So we'll highlight him. We'll go back to... Actually, before I do this, I don't want to do this to this particular one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, go back here to where full enemy was at. This is just uh, to make my life easier down the road here. I'm going to go back to full sample. We're going to go to blueprint characters. Go to enemies. We're going to take that ACF full enemy BP. And I'm just going to duplicate it. Or I could actually create my own folder over here for like my enemies and put it in there. In this case, I'm just going to duplicate this one over to here. And I'm going to call it uh, skeleton footman. And then we'll go in here. Now that should have the code in it that we just put in. And we already have our NPC mesh here. Now that I have that highlighted, I should be able to pull... Actually, I've, now I've jumped off. Of it, so let's go back here. Grab our skeleton again. Skeleton army. Characters, footman. Boom, highlight him. Come back up to skeleton footman. And bring that in. We look at the viewport, we'll now have him on there. And we'll have to probably hide the mesh on him. Close this guy. And I want to leave that open and leave that closed there. So we'll go in here and let's just see what he does. Go up here and get him at the blueprint level. Blueprint character enemies. And our skeleton footman will just put him right here. Yeah, we're going to have to take the underlying mesh for that. So we'll take this mesh. And we're going to say hidden. Hidden in game. And then the other thing we do want to do is look for uh, tick. And under this we want to say always tick pose and refresh bones. So that's turned on. And let's see what happens now. Okay. So he's moving around, but his animation... Trying to attack. He's not walking properly. Let's see what happened here. 
Actually, you know what I should verify first? Is that this mesh actually is... Compatible with that. He only has three spines. It looks a little different about him, though, as far as, like, his... Arms and everything. Maybe not. Find out. So anyway, while we're while we're in here, we'll grab this UE four mannequin skeleton again. We'll grab all these sockets. Uh copy selected sockets. And go back to the soldier here, right click on this and say paste sockets. Save. The play. He should be able to swing a sword now. Or at least have a sword equipped. He does. into here find out what's going on so just for the fun of it let's go maybe i don't need to do that with this guy let's go here to event graph and it's because of what npc mesh now that's good let's connect this pin let's take this mesh here we had hidden. Let's just unhide it for now. See if that animates the character. Okay, it's not. Reconnect that pin with him unhidden. Then let's see what that does. He's still not animating. Am I missing something simple? When we did this with Ultimate Player, oh, it's the um, it's probably this right here. Let's say, yeah, ACF UE4 retargeted ABP. I think has to be also in here. So I'm going to find this out in the world. Go back to the skeleton footman. Go to this NPC mesh and then just pull this in. That won't let me. All right. So it's, uh, it's an ACF retargeted before. ACF UE4 retargeted ABP. ACF UE4 retargeted ABP. Let's go back and see if that does anything different. Okay, now we can see that he's actually animating. Okay, so now what we can do is go back and take the skeleton footman, main mesh, hidden in game. Turn that back on. And now we should have our skeleton character with all of his sockets and able to attack me. Yep. There we go. That's a quick way to add the enemies to be able to use the uh, the UE4 mannequins on some of these. Because if you don't do that, then you have a, a number five or a UE5 skeleton on there and it's not going to work out as well. Anyway, sorry for that uh, dragging around a little bit there while we did some troubleshooting. But again, I'm leaving the troubleshooting in there because I think it helps some people figure stuff out a little bit easier. Uh, now that you have that set up, though, you can just rinse and repeat, duplicate that blueprint, and change out your skeletal mesh pretty quick. Um, if all the characters share the same skeleton, the socket's are already on there, and they'll have what they need. So I'll show you that real quick. If we go back into the area where our characters are, we did our enemies here so if i were to duplicate this guy and call him uh skeleton uh i don't know we'll call it guard or something i don't know what the other thing was called and uh, let me close these because again they're all in the same skeleton for that particular thing so we'll go to skeleton guard and we'll open him up And we will go to skeleton pack. We'll just use the warlord 
highlight him, NPC mesh, bring that in. And all I should have to do is then take that skeleton guard and just drop him out in the world and hit play. And there he is. Now his, uh, actually, what's interesting is, I lied to you. In this particular pack, it appears as though that skeleton, the warlord, has his own, his own skeleton. So, you will have to take and say, paste sockets. And then come back in here. So if they're if they do share the same so the same sockets, you'll be fine. If not, then you have to go and add them. But again, a real quick way to get enemies up and running in ACF using retargeted uh, animations and meshes. All right. Again, my name's TC Made with TC Gaming. Hopefully, this video helps somebody out. And uh, again, check out Code with Row. He's been dropping videos like bombs. So uh, we're trying to get as much content out for everybody as we can. You guys take care. We'll catch you in a future video.